we observe a school. Here we see Adam, the adolescent who investigates a fight between his friend and another boy. After the conclusion of the fight, Adam's friend confronts him in anger, and then the instructor intervenes. Because of the conflict, both of them receive one day of detention. After serving it, Adam realizes his error. He then expresses regret to his friend. His friend then leaves the location in anger. Now that shift has occurred, we observe Adam going to his home where his parents were not present. Following this, he glues his tooth, which was broken during the fight, back together. Catherine, an elderly woman who lives in front of Adam's house, is seen by Adam at night. Therefore, Adam Banks leaves the school the following day and goes to Catherine's home. After examining the mailbox, he discovers a letter from John F. Kennedy. John Kennedy was the President of the United States. So, Adam, he is surprised to see the mail, and after reading it, he goes to Catherine's house, where he starts to observe. Catherine then arrives, observes Adam, and inquires as to why he is present. In response, he explains that he needs some work because he must travel to Europe. Catherine assigns him the task of cleaning her garden. Upon hearing this, Adam also discovers a photograph of himself walking around Catherine's home with the president in view. Adam is informed by Catherine that the president is an old friend. In the middle of the night, Adam was photographing Catherine when a large car stopped in front of her home. President John then emerged from the vehicle and entered Catherine's home. Adam is stunned to see all of this. The following day at school, Adam asks one of his classmates, Faith, to walk him home because he liked her and she liked him. Adam then invites Faith, but during their conversation, his sister arrives and takes Adam away. Following school, Adam visits Catherine's residence for work. Catherine's garden is quite lovely, but Adam understands that she wants to redecorate it, so he gets to work redecorating Catherine's garden. Catherine visits the location, which was looking very nice, and offers her compliments. Adam then informs Catherine that he saw the president leaving his residence last night, which Catherine finds extremely upsetting. As a result, she tells Adam to forget about all of this because she wanted to keep certain things a secret. She then leaves, and Adam's clothes become very dirty after a day of gardening. When Adam returns home wearing the same clothes, his parents ask, How did your clothes get so dirty? Adam responds by stating that he has also begun working in their neighbor Catherine's garden. But Adam's mother did not like Catherine because her lifestyle and practices were so dissimilar to theirs. Therefore, Adam's mother attempts to persuade him indirectly not to work at Catherine's house because Catherine lacks social standing. However, Adam informs his parents that it was they who requested that he find employment. Adam's parents have no other response so he permits himself to work at Catherine's house. On his way home from school the following day, Faith also comes to his house with Adam, and then both come closer after coming home. But while kissing, Adam's broken teeth come into Faith's mouth. Then Faith tells Adam to fix her, and then leaves from there. Now that Adam is angry with Catherine, he begins monitoring her. After that, he observes Catherine meeting a man one day. His name is Lucian and he works to provide women to powerful and wealthy men. Additionally, Lucian and Catherine debate the president. Catherine then tells Lucian that she will never see the president and leaves, stating that the following evening, while Adam was snooping around Catherine's house while she was partying with her friends inside, a man arrives, grabs Adam, and then takes him inside. Graham is Catherine's husband, and he asks her to have sexual relations with the president, leading to their divorce. However, Graham wants to resume their relationship. Catherine, however, does not wish to be with him. The two then continue to argue about this issue. And finally, Graham leaves. The next day, as Adam is returning from the dentist, he sees Lucian and begins to follow him. Graham meets Lucian, and the two discuss an upcoming presidential responsibility. However, Catherine is also a problem for him, and Catherine's diary is her safe haven where she writes everything down. Therefore, Lucian informs Graham that they must absolutely steal Catherine's diary. Adam overhears all of this and immediately proceeds to Catherine's residence. But upon arrival, he discovers Catherine is not taking advantage of the situation. Adam begins searching for Catherine's diary 
after which Catherine arrives with a man. Adam must seek refuge in the wardrobe. Catherine then becomes intimate with the man, and Adam is observing all of this from the confines of the wardrobe. Catherine then calls Adam out after the man leaves because she saw his bag lying outside and knows he is hiding there. Adam apologizes to Catherine after coming out, and Catherine forgives him for his behavior as a child. Adam tells Catherine about Graham and Lucian's words, but Catherine is uninterested and forbids Adam from following such a person. The next time, the following day, we see Adam at a friend's birthday party where he and Faith are punished by having to spend one minute in a cupboard together. Then after entering the closet, they both begin kissing. But while doing so, Adam becomes somewhat aggressive, which Faith does not appreciate at all. Therefore, she leaves in anger. Now Adam returns home and observes Catherine getting wet in the rain. Catherine rushes Adam to the house and changes his clothes after recognizing him. Following this, they both begin to experiment with painting colors. Additionally, while playing, Adam attempts to kiss Catherine. Catherine, however, stops him there. Now after this, they both engage in extensive color play. The following morning, Adam's parents observe that he is completely discolored. Upon seeing this, Adam's parents realize that he spent the entire night at Catherine's house and are furious about all of this. Adam's parents prevent him from going to Catherine's house, and Adam's father visits Catherine there to speak with her. Then they encounter Lucian, who had complete knowledge of Adam's father and his family. Upon hearing this, Adam's father becomes extremely terrified. Then he instructs Catherine not to hire Adam for any position. In order for Catherine to concur, next, we see Lucian, who informs Catherine that he is giving her one last chance and that he has convinced the president that their relationship is not compatible. Catherine is also terrified after hearing this, and she makes every effort to reach the president. She also visits the lighthouse at night in an attempt to meet the president, but she is unsuccessful. The next day, we learn that the president has been murdered, and Catherine breaks down upon hearing this news. When Adam arrives at her residence and sees her crying, he comforts her. Then he gives her a chance and attempts to become intimate with her. Catherine, however, makes him stop. At home, Graham arrives at Catherine's home following Adam's departure and requests her diary so he can begin a new life. Then he assures Catherine that he will take her to a foreign country far away from everyone else. Then Catherine agrees after hearing this. From there, she travels directly to Adam's residence. However, Adam's mother does not permit him to meet Adam, explaining that Adam has some of his belongings that he requires immediately. Catherine meets Lucian, who instructs her to hand over the journal. In addition, he claims to know with whom she hid the diary, but Catherine refuses him because she wrote everything in her diary. If something were to ever go wrong with her, she would be able to expose everyone with the aid of the diary. Because Adam was carrying the diary, he too was in danger. Catherine then goes to church to meet him, where she advises him not to begin his life just yet. Then, after conversing for some time, Catherine also departs from the location. Now, we see the following day, when Adam returns home from school. He realizes that Lucian has taken the diary when he discovers that his room has been destroyed. Consequently, he rushes to Catherine's residence to find Lucian, who is burning Catherine's diary. Then he instructs Adam to disregard everything written in the journal. Adam then asks. After this, Lucian informs him that Catherine is at the meeting location he requested for today. Now, while running to this location, Adam discovers Catherine's corpse. Adam feels very bad, and when Graham sees Catherine's dead body, he is overcome with grief. In fact, Catherine was murdered by Lucian, but Lucian was a powerful man so they were powerless against him. Adam, devastated by Catherine's death and having no friends to care for him, is next seen at school. Then, Adam returns home. He receives the same package from Catherine that he had sent before her death, in which a composite photo of Adam is created by combining multiple images, and the film ends here.